Liquid metal is the worst thing to be put in a laptop. On the table we have an Asus G14. This thing from the factory rolled out with thermal paste on the GPU and liquid metal on the CPU. Before it burns like all of the other gaming laptops. In this video we will upgrade the CPU and GPU cooling and all of the cooling on all of the MOSFETs and uh, memory chips and anything we can find that we can put some paste on. I got this PTM7950 from AliExpress and this Upsiren UX Pro Ultra which was also from AliExpress. As a starting point let's do a small test, something that we can compare the current performance with after the thermal change performance. This is just OBS running and recording the screen. I don't really play games but we have the game called The Finals, so we will be using it as a comparison for a high load. All of the testing and benchmarking is done on Linux. This game is free on Steam, by the way. The most important metrics that we will be looking at are the temperature of the GPU, the wattage of the GPU, temperature of the CPU, and frames per second. And here's the fan profile that I'm going to be using for the whole test. Manufacturers care about selling you as many laptops as they can. When you have bad cooling, you will have a MOSFET pushing the maximum power it can into the CPU or the GPU and uh, when there's no cooling, something's gonna burn. When the MOSFET burns, it might short itself out and then it's gonna send all of the power, for example, from the main power rail like a 19 volts or something straight to your CPU or GPU and then it's gonna get cooked. And that thing is most likely unrepairable unless you can find the donor with the same part. And most of the cases that that's, doesn't happen. And then you have to buy a new laptop. So another filthy trick of marketing that the manufacturers have started doing is Liquid metal is the best thermally conductive, that part is true, and the most useful blah 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 upgrade to your computer. And on that one I purely disagree. So the thing about liquid metal is that it has this thing called the pump out effect. Because it's liquid metal, it's from the pressure applied on of the heatsink to the CPU, it's slowly pushing itself to the outsides of the die of the CPU. You can literally just see it right here. So there's like a empty spot with no, no liquid metal. And that part is heating up the most. And heat is what kills computers and electronics. You can also see a little bit of that darkish dirt right here. Liquid metal also has gallium inside of it, which oxides when it's put on aluminum. Well, if you care a lot about the chemistry side of it, I recommend you to do some real research instead of uh, watching a YouTube person yap. But the point behind it being is that it's slowly eating away your CPU die. It doesn't impact the thermal performance if you don't remove the oxidation, but I don't know the long-term impact. Now, if you do love liquid metal and you want to use it, it makes sense to repaste it every six months because of the pump out effect. But you need to be very mindful when you are interacting with it because if it slips under the CPU or the GPU, you basically have a brick and uh, this, the CPU or the GPU needs to be removed and uh, yeah, all of it needs to be removed, all of the liquid metal and that's not an easy job. The reward is not worth it for the risk that you're taking. And that's where PTM7950 comes in. It's a phase change cooling solution which when it is um, exposed to heat above 45 something 50 degrees according to the datasheet of the original product the thermal paste turns into a semi kind of liquid which is not conductive. And according to the original datasheet it performs the same if not even better than liquid metal. And after a thousand cycles, according to their datasheet, it performs even better than it did the first time. Legend says it that Lenovo is putting this thing in their latest laptops. Now let's get back to reality. The, 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 the PTM 7950 original one is uh, quite expensive and they don't sell directly to consumers. And because they don't sell directly to consumers, you need to find resellers or yeah, someone who has it and they usually put up the price way higher than it should be. 
But there is an alternative to all of this. Some type of a scamish solution from AliExpress. Scamish because I think it would be a little bit delusional to believe that this is the real thing. But I mean, if the performance is not too far from liquid metal and it, there is no risk involved when replacing it or interacting with it, I think this is a big W. Now this putty UX Pro type of thing, it feels uh, like sand, but once you heat it up with your fingers, it becomes quite clumpy and uh, it starts to stick. Before applying the PTM 7950, it's recommended to put it in the fridge so it would cool down and be, I guess, less sticky. So if you're planning to uh, applying it yourself, just use the stickers to remove the plastic film. After putting back everything together at 20,000% speed, we are greeted with the startup of the laptop. I didn't make a mistake. Now for the uh, PTM 7950 to start somewhat working, it needs to have a few hot and cold cycles from somewhat 40 degrees to like a 70. So I did a few quick tests and then I started the recording with OBS. Even before the first strong heat cycles, it seems like the performance is better with PTM 7950. Now about the high performance stuff, I'm just gonna let the numbers speak for themselves. And keep in mind, this is only the first-ish cycles. So in theory, the further we go, the better the performance should be. This is what it's looking like after about three heat cycles. So that means running the game, turning it off, letting the laptop cool down and then turn on the game again. And this is what it looks like after around six full heat cycles. For those that are having a little bit of difficulty understanding what they're looking at and what this means. We have higher frame rate, which is good. We have higher consumption on the GPU, which is... Eh... Kinda good, you're gonna get more power, but it's gonna produce way more heat. Just as the frames and power increased, so did the temperature. Looking at the CPU, the CPU usage increased because now it has a little bit of room to play before the temperature hits it. Overall, this means that the PTM 7950 is somewhat making it run better, but this is not a fair comparison. In this run, both of the setups are running with 67 degrees Celsius limit on the CPU. This is the fairest comparison I can make between the two. But it's still not fair because for some reason the device was not pushing the same amount of wattage into the GPU. Now before people start disliking the video and saying that I suck or <laughs> whatever people use as an insult these days, this is not a pure comparison of liquid metal versus AliExpress PTM 7950. If, if this would have been a true honest comparison between the two, I would have reapplied the liquid metal and then made a full proper benchmark. But that's not the point of the video. I hate liquid metal and you should hate it too. It's not worth destroying your laptop for some type of little bit of performance. Now that we've gotten all this ugly stuff out of the way, if you really care about your laptop running for a long time, you should probably think about limiting the CPU usage or adding a CPU thermal limit. I always run a 67 degrees Celsius limit on my CPU. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, if it's rendering, editing, whatever, I always have the limit. Because less heat, longer longevity, less fan spin, less dust inside of the laptop, less the requirement for maintenance and cleaning, less power consumption. I mean, it's, it's only positive things. Let me just show you briefly on how you can do that. On Linux, I have this script running, but I'm not gonna dive into details on how to do it. If you want a video about it, let me know. On Windows, I think the easiest way is just going into the edit power plan, maximum processor state, and change it to 99%. This will basically make it turn off turbo boost. That's all from me and I wish you a lovely day or night.